Well, happy Friday, December 27th, 2019 to you all. I guess we're all sort of recuperating from the giving and receiving of gifts. But hey, here at Radioactive Trading, the gifts keep on giving. Now, in the last two weeks, we talked about stock and portfolio insurance. We shared the benefits of insuring your stock positions, the proper structure to put time on your side and have that single digit risk, how to find the right trades, and discussion of using nested trades, the income methods against that proper structure. The benefits of insurance, well, there are just so many. We can insure our investment properly as we would our house, a car, fine pieces of art, we might as well insure our stocks as well from the unknown. We can lock in unrealized gains from the run-up at the end of 2019. We can control the risk better than using a stop order or a trailing stop, and we can recession or correction-proof the portfolio with the known risk in place. Now, this also helps us beat the market and gambler's ruin. We talked about how when you have a 10% loss on a position, You don't need a 10% gain to get back to break even. You need an 11% gain. And if you suffer a 20% loss from an unexpected event, you're going to need a 25% gain on what you have remaining to get back to where you started. And it just accelerates from there. Even with leveraged positions, if you take a 50% loss on a long call or on a credit spread, you're going to need a 100% gain on what you have left to get back to where you started. But by controlling risk properly, if I have a 5% loss, I only need about a 5.3% gain to get back to break even. And that is much more realistic. Now, the proper radioactive trading structure follows the three core principles, which really apply to any options trading strategy. We have to enforce proper position sizing, not get caught in the lie of leverage. The at the money bell curve teaches us that at any given time, the at the money strike in any expiration series has the highest time value or extrinsic value. Well, that's where we want to be selling premium, not buying. We want to be buying in the money to put the proper structure in place. And as the stock moves up and our in the money option becomes at the money, we see a swell in extrinsic value. And then of course, the time decay curve. We want to put time on our side. When we're buying, we want to be buying 120, 150, maybe even 200 or 300 days out in time. Of course, when we're selling, we want to be selling near term to get the decay in our favor. Now, those three principles guides us to the proper structure. We want the right risk. We don't want to buy cheap insurance and take a 15, 20% double digit risk because that puts us on the wrong end of gambler's ruin. We don't want to overtrade using leverage too much so that when we do take a 50, 60, or 70% loss, we wiped out too much of our portfolio. We don't want to be buying the highest time value. As a time value decay does hurt a long option. We want the lowest time decay with the best risk in place. And we want to put time on our side. And also, going further out in time, the option that we're buying to ensure our position is not five times the cost. It has a lower annualized cost per day. Now, in finding the right trades, we showed two new trades using the proper structure on the Power Options tools. On December 17th, we bought shares of Fabernet for 64.33. We bought a July 70 put for 10.20. Now, the total investment was 74.53. Even in the worst case scenario, a complete market collapse, we are guaranteed to get $70 back, much better than a stop order, which is really just a market order where you get filled at whatever price the market's offering once it goes below the stop. This is a guarantee, so I'm set up in that low risk structure where we're only risking 6% of the investment. And unlike a covered call or other capped gain strategies, we leave the upside open. And then on Yandex, we bought Yandex for $42.29, bought a 2021 January 47 put, almost 400 days out in time, for 825 
Now that does put our cost basis up to $5,054 per share for this position, but we're guaranteed to get $47 back. So the max risk is only $354 of that investment or 7%. Again, with infinite upside and again on the proper side of gambler's ruin and the martingale curve. And of course, we also shared a little example of trusting the stock selection. This was a Blueprint Owners Only webinar from earlier this year, where we showed over certain time periods, over an eight-month time period and a five-month time period in the beginning of 2019, that our selections following the radioactive trading techniques, the stocks outperformed simply just trading stocks in the NASDAQ 100, five-star recommended stocks by Standard & Poor's, using technicals such as MACD and Bollinger Bands, against the Dow 30, which was still a loss over the same time period, and we saw a large gain in the radioactive stocks, and the value line stocks as well underperformed our expectations. And then we went on to discuss those 12 different income methods. What are the income methods? Well, they're the nested trades, the proper adjustment inside that limited risk strategy to generate income against the position, just as you might be doing now, but an already protected position, which ends up lowering the risk and lowering the cost basis on the trade, in addition to increasing profits and seeing a return on your investment, and the potential to bulletproof the position when we cancel all of the risk using those 12 income methods discussed in the blueprint. We have no risk to the downside with still potentially unlimited upside profit potential. And this helps us to meet our trading goals. We take a low risk trade, the initial radioactive married put setup, apply the income methods at the proper time and in the proper way as discussed in the blueprint to lower the risk and the break even. And we can potentially cancel all of the risk to have a bulletproof trade with a guaranteed profitable exit and still unlimited potential to the upside. But why are there 12 income methods and more coming soon? Well, it's for different market conditions. Sun income methods are best used when the stock is up in price, as we expected. But if the stock doesn't move as we expected, stagnates for 30, 40, maybe 50 days, there are income methods we can use if the stock is stagnating to still meet our goals of lowering the risk, the cost basis, and generating income. And if the stock falls, if it goes against us and declines or there's a sudden market interruption, but we still feel the stock is strong, we can use income methods to reposition the structure, still have a single digit risk, but lower the break even and take advantage of a return to profit if the stock recovers. There's even income methods that allow you to potentially profit in both directions. If you have an event coming up, such as earnings, you're not sure if it's going to be a surprise one direction or the other, I can still have a low risk trade, but the ability to profit in either direction. The 12 different income methods keep us in the limited risk structure, but with solutions, different conditions. We can lower the risk and leave the upside open. We can generate premium and have no risk on either side if we think the market is stagnating, or we can potentially profit in both directions with still a low risk or no risk trade. If I have a specific strategy I'm using, I don't want to just rely on one adjustment for different market conditions, different expectations on a stock, trying to fit that into the mold of a simple structure. I need more than one adjustment to potentially meet the different goals of every investor. And all of that's going to determine my action. This is what we call the SEGA model that we use for each of the 12 income methods, matching up the choice of which one to use based on the current conditions, our expectations, and our goals, which determines our action. But if I just have one type of adjustment in my toolbox, I'm not going to be able to fit it into all of the different market conditions. And lastly, over these last two weeks, we showed the tale of two stocks over the past year, an utter disaster and a rocket ship in the last months of trading. And we showed how different structures might hurt over time using that trade simulator tool at Radioactive Trading. 
where if we just traded two stocks, one with a 50% loss and one with a 233% gain, and we did that consistently over time, we'd look pretty good. But how often do we find stocks that move up 230% in a 30 to 40 day time period? Using long calls with this extreme example, we could end up seeing a very large return, but at the same time, we have the potential to suffer a 60, 75, 80% loss, or even go bankrupt because of the lie of leverage. And both of these trades, the 50% loss and the 233% gain, were done trading covered calls. So even rolling down and adjusting, that 50% stock was still down 47% from the different rolling up and rolling down. And the one that missed out on the 233% gain still had an impressive and not normally seen 55% return. But with those records over time, with a 50-50 win-loss ratio and the covered call structure with a capped gain, you may at one point see impressive returns. More than likely, you're going to lose money faster because when I do take a 47% loss, I don't need a 55% gain to get back to break even. I need closer to a 93 or 94% gain to be consistent long term. But with a realistic view of stock performance, if I did just stock only and expected a 50-50 win-loss ratio, targeting a 10% gain when I'm right using a stop order of 10%, long term, I might be at a loss of 10, 12%. Why? Because I don't need a 10% gain when I suffer a 10% loss. I need more gains. Taking the long call position, expecting maybe a normal 100, 150% gain when you're right, but when you're wrong and the market turns, you might quickly see a 60 or 70% loss. If you're right half the time, you could see a potential gain after suffering a large drawdown of 80% of what you started. And you can be in bankruptcy very quickly due to the lie of leverage, depending on the strings of winners and losers. A standard covered call approach, a 3% gain, using a stop order of around a 7, 10% loss, and being right 70% of the time, just keeps you around break even after 100 trades. Even with only losing 30% of the time, we're not making up the gains. But the proper structure, leaving the upside open so we can take more advantage instead of a capped gain, by controlling our losses and even only being right 50% of the time over long-term trades. You might only see an 8 or 10% drawdown on your capital, but have the potential to maybe see a 50, 60% gain. And here are the numbers that we actually ran using that trade simulator tool. The stock only hit a target of 10%. We put the loss limit at 10%. Assumed 50-50 win-loss ratio, some stocks move up, some stocks move down, and there you go. At one point, there was a 40% return over 100 trades, but long-term, we're down about 12%. With the covered call structure, we saw only a 4 or 5% gain after 100 trades at one point during the trading success, but long-term... It's not putting us on the right side of gambler's ruin. We're only making 3% when we're right, losing 7% when we're wrong, and even being right 70% of the time. We're at a little bit of loss or just about break even. That's not getting us ahead long term. For the leverage long call, we did that 150% gain target, 70% loss limit, 50-50 win-loss ratio, and one of the examples we ran, we were bankrupt after 27 trades bad market, strings of five or six losers in a row, and even after the first three trades, we were down 70, 73%. Would we even keep trading at that point? We ran it again and saw the potential for an astronomical return, starting with $10,000. But we would have had to stand through an 80% drawdown with strings of winners and losers. And would you continue with strategy if after your first 10 or 15 trades, or your first 20 trades, Maybe even the first 50 trades, your portfolio was down 80%. Probably not. You probably would have moved on to something a little bit better. But the proper structure, targeting a 7% return on the winners, 
controlling the loss appropriately to single digits, and being right even 50% of the time. Over 100 trades, we see a drawdown of only 9%, 8% or so, with the potential to increase the starting capital by 50, 60, maybe even 70% at one time. That's putting the odds in your favor and how you can beat the market long term. But how does all of this really help you? Well, during these series of webinars, we asked our attendees various questions. One of the main ones was, what was your main strategy over the last 12 months? We had 10% of the attendees just trading stock only. 45% were trading covered calls and naked puts. 10% were mostly trading credit spreads, using leverage, hopefully having a 75, 80, 85% success rate. About 20% were buying calls and puts, maybe doing straddles and strangles, and about 20% were doing time spreads, calendar spreads, or ratio spreads as well as their main strategy. And we saw good performance over the last end of 2019 and the year itself as well. But not everyone had a good or great trading year. And if you fall into these results where about 50% of the attendees Doing those strategies we just talked about, the 50% of the audience was at a little bit of profit, but not what they were promised and not what they were hoped. Not good. Some had some gains, some losses, but they ended the year below break even. A good 40% said they hit their targets and 13% got above the standard 28% return on the SPY from January 1st of 2019 to December 20th or so. So if you fall into those categories, even if you had a good year and hit your targets, think about if you would have controlled your losses to only 5 or 6%. Would that have turned a good year into a great year? If you had some profit but not as much as you'd hoped, how would the proper structure have helped you turn that meh year into a good or great year? And if you're below break even, you had some gains, had some losses, definitely didn't hit your targets, if you had controlled your losses, left your upside open in the proper structure, would that have turned your year into a good year or a great year? My bet is that it would. And even though we don't review all 12 income methods, because we don't give everything away for free, but investors like you felt that now that they saw the proper structure, only the use of three or four of the 12 ways to adjust a low risk position, 60% of them said it was awesome. They like the idea for adjusting for different markets. What they're missing now with the standard structure of, say, a covered call of just being able to roll up or roll down or relying on a stop order to keep them out of trouble. 40% said, okay, but how do I know how to use them? Well, that's why you want to consider picking up the blueprint as well. And the good news is that blueprint is a solution for everyone. If you're just trading stock only, you're going to be able to protect the stock to avoid the losses on maybe those two or three positions that just slipped against you, broke beyond that stop order. Wouldn't you rather have a guaranteed limited loss in place as opposed to assumed insurance of the stop order? If you have unrealized gains at the end of 2019, using this proper structure, you can lock in those gains, have a no-risk position, locking in most of those unrealized profits with still unlimited upside potential. And if you do have stocks that are down right now, you can protect yourself from further losses and maybe even use a stock repair structure that's taught in the blueprint. Covered calls and naked puts, if you didn't meet your targets, well, it's probably because you have one adjustment at your disposal. Rolling down and out as the stock falls, but then risking getting trapped into being assigned at a loss if the stock recovers, then you have to pay more money to roll back up. Or if the stock moves up and you want to try to lock in more profits, you have to roll up and out, which still might be done at a debit. Or if you do it at a credit, you might be going several months out in time. It's not always the best approach. I'd rather have 12 different adjustments in my toolbox rather than just one. Credit spreads, well, we all know the suffrage there. You might suffer a 50 or 60% loss on the ones that go against you due to the lie of leverage. Maybe making 10, 12, or 15% when you're right and the credit spread expires. But what if you did that in a nested position where there was no risk, a riskless spread trade done in the proper structure, where even if it went against you, the credit that you received actually lowered your risk on the overall position and you had no risk in the other direction. 
there are three or four riskless spread trades that are taught in the blueprint and the proper structure. Buying calls, buying puts, straddles and strangles, well, how good is your timing? How often do you watch the market to try to get that, well, I'm at a 90% gain now, but I'd really like 100 or 110. How often do you watch it? How good is your approach and your structure and your timing to be successful with those? If you've had a good run and you took most of your profits and now you're sitting on the fence, you're sitting in cash, but you fear missing out on what could continue, if this trend we saw at the end of 2019 continues into the first few months of 2020, well, this allows you to get in a proper structure where you won't fear missing out and you won't fear entering the trades because you know you have the proper structure. But is this idea of bulletproofing, canceling all of the risk, really possible? Well, let's take a look at our Yandex position that we opened on December 17th live during our webinar. We bought shares of stock at 42.29. And we bought that 400 day out. January 2021, 47 strike put for 825. Our total cost was $5,054, but we're guaranteed to get $47 back even in the worst case scenario. So the maximum risk is only 354 or 7%. By the way, that maximum risk really only occurs if I held the position all the way through to next year, accepted no dividends if the index paid a dividend, did no adjustments or income methods on the position, and 400 days from now, on 15th of January 2021, the stock's trading below 47. See, I put time on my side, so when I open the position, all I'm losing is the bid-ask spread of the put option. I'm not $354 behind the eight ball. I could liquidate the position right away and just lose four or five cents, 10 cents due to the bid ask spread. Yandex is currently trading around $44 per share. Just 10 days later, it's up 4.2%. Did my put lose value? Well, of course it did. The stock's up about $1.70, but the put only declined by 95 cents, only about half to $7.30 from our 825 purchase price. Why is that important? Well, Remember that true risk we saw, that 354, that's the time value or extrinsic value of the put option when we entered the position. With the stock trading at 44, our 47 strike put is $3 in the money and the put is worth 730. We have $4.30 of extrinsic value. It actually swelled and moved up. That extrinsic value increased even though we lost intrinsic, which we gained back with the stock. Why did that put option increase in extrinsic value or time value? And it's because of that ATM bell curve. We bought the stock at 42 and we bought a 47 put that was in the money. Now the stock has moved up. We're not at the money yet, but that extrinsic value swelled. So our time value, our extrinsic value is 430. It actually increased as 10 days passed because of that one core principle, the at the money bell curve. Why is that important? Well, we can use that benefit to adjust the index position right now to pretty much cancel all of the risk and bulletproof the trade. I'm gonna show you right now an example of income method number three, what we call the bulletproof vest. The time and the put value I paid for is already taken into account into my cost basis but I can swap the swelling of intrinsic value that we've seen as the stock moved up as we expected. I can move that put that I already paid for closer in time and keep the same insurance, but lower the cost basis. So we sell to close that January 2021 47 put, still about 400 days, uh, 380 days to expiration for 730. That lowers the cost basis into my position but I want to keep the proper structure in place. So I move that in to a February, 2020, only about 45 days out in time, 47 strike put for 385. This is like I'm generating $3 and 45 cents in premium. I'm lowering my cost basis by 345 and keeping the same guaranteed exit at 47 that we started with. 
Remember the initial cost basis, the stock at $42.29 plus that put at $8.25 was $50.54. We're going to sell to close that put, and yeah, we're taking a loss of $0.95, cents, but we saw a swelling of that extrinsic value. We get $7.30 back, and then we buy the closer in February 47 put for $3.85. There's that 345 difference. My cost basis drops from 5054 to 4709. And what do I have remaining? Still a put in place for the next 45, 50 days or so at $47. My risk is now only $9 or 9 cents per share, 0.2%. And I still have infinite upside on Yandex if it continues to move up in price. Well, we're pretty much bulletproof, but I'm not really bulletproof. Well, there's a whole chapter in the blueprint on combining income methods properly. So I could use income method number one, which we shared earlier with you during the last two weeks, and I can sell to open even a closer in. January 2020 standard expiration 47 call for 20 cents. Not a lot of premium, but what would that do? It would lower my cost basis, from 47.09 down to 46.89. What's still in place? That 47 guaranteed exit if Yandex collapses or a market correction occurs. Now, I have a lower cost basis in the total position, including all of the put transactions. I'm still guaranteed to get $47 back, so I had a negative risk of 11 cents or 0.2%. What is a negative risk? It's a guaranteed profit just after 10 days. And in this case, I did cap the upside, but if the stock moves to 47, I'm still making 4% of roughly the seven or 8% increase in the stock price, but better than holding a stock and relying on assumed insurance of the stop order, I'm in a structure where we generated income, lowered and canceled all of the risk on the position. I have that bulletproof trade can't lose in any direction and still make a reasonable return at January expiration. The Yandex trade met our expectations. When we open the married put, it is a bullish structure. We expect the stock to move up maybe three to 6% or so in the first 20 to 40 days. That occurred. I can be near bulletproof and leave the upside open just using income method number three, that bulletproof vest. Or I can be totally bulletproof with a max profit near the current stock gain, if the stock ended going up to $47 per share, and even if it doesn't and that call expires, now I'm still in a bulletproof position through February with the unlimited upside with earnings coming up around February 13th. That is a perfect situation to be bulletproof and the best use of this income method, the bulletproof vest. When I have the unrealized gain in my position, it met my expectations, earnings are coming up in 30 to 40 days, I can swap that extrinsic value swell into a closer term put, have a bulletproof position, no fear, no risk of a market correction, and no fear of a 20-30% decline at earnings on my stock position for a negative surprise. Which by the way, if I went that way with a stop order, set it at 5%, the stock had a bad report and dropped 15 or 20%, I don't get filled at that 5% loss. I get whatever the market offers and suffer that 20, 25% loss, which means I now need a 25 or 33% gain on what I have left to get back to where I started. Wouldn't you rather go through earnings with no risk, zero risk, in fact, a potential gain, small gain, but if the stock falls, it's still a gain, with still the unlimited upside in case the stock surprises the other direction. That is the power of the 12 different income methods. The ability to potentially bulletproof the trade with an event coming up, the potentially to further bulletproof the trade and generate income, setting the strike at your target, or the potential to profit in both directions for a sudden correction or a sudden surprise with still having little or no risk on the position. That's why there's 12 income methods in the blueprint. And that's the way to trade properly to beat the market long term. We start off with no fear or no worry. 
a low risk position and that proper single digit risk to avoid the trap of gambler's ruin and the martingale curve. We have time on our side where even if the stock doesn't move as we expected in the first 20 to 40 days, I can still use other income methods if it's stagnating. And we have that unlimited upside profit potential, not a capped gain as we would with a collar, which also carries low risk, or a covered call, which still leaves a lot of risk to the downside. Then there are full chapters on the 12 different income methods, how to use them, when to use them, when not to use them, and that SEGA model for each income method that helps us decide why we would choose one over the other. So we can trade in the market with little to no fear, a controlled risk to begin with, and the potential to have a completely bulletproof position with still reasonable profit to the upside if we so choose. Or leave the upside open with only taking a 0.2-0.3% risk. Not every position is going to be bulletproof, but this is an example of how we can start from the beginning in the proper structure and how that proper structure gives us an edge to beat the market. But then why not reward ourselves with these income methods when we make the right choice to potentially have a no risk trade with still targets that we'd like to achieve for our potential profit. All those other structures we talked about we used that trade simulator tool at Radioactive Trading. And again, we saw that if we had a 10% gain on a stock and a 10% loss, set our stops hoping that they get filled without a larger loss in the case of a sudden surprise. But 50-50 win-loss ratio, it doesn't pan out to meet our targets. The long call position, we could have an astronomical gain trying to target 150% gain but trying to control our losses to 50, 60, 70% but we'd have to suffer perhaps an 80% drawdown. And in the wrong market, forcing this strategy into wrong market conditions, we could be bankrupt after 15, 20, or 30 trades without the proper structure. Covered calls capping the gains to around 3 or 4%, trying to control the losses to 7 to 8%, even being right 70% of the time. That did not get us to where our targets were. But we set up the married put proper structure, we give ourselves more room to the upside, average about 7% wins, keep our losses below 5%, even being right only 50% of the time. It outperformed the other structures long term. And why do I want you to pick up the blueprint? Because I don't want you to lose money. I don't want to see you losing money with option strategies that were promised for very high returns, but the downsides weren't talked about, and you end up getting behind the eight ball. I want you to be protected from the unknown. I don't know what's going to happen in 2020. I don't know if this trend that we saw at the end of 2019 is going to continue. If the unknown comes, I want you to have the right tools to protect your investments, to be able to still generate income as you're doing now, but in the proper nested trades, all of it without worry or fear, because you have the proper structure to avoid gambler's ruin and the martingale monster. And if the stock does move up, but you don't see an adjustment that really matches what you want, you have no pressure to do anything. Time is still on your side, in the proper structure, following the blueprint materials. We can wait, wait for a better opportunity, wait for a better market condition, all knowing that in the first few months, even if the stock doesn't move, I'm not at that maximum risk. I'm probably only at a loss of 2 or 3% because time is on my side and we were set up properly with a time decay curve so we don't lose that time value quickly in the first two, three, or four months of the trade. But of course, now is the best time also to pick up the blueprint for our end of year special. You take advantage of our end of year bonus offers. You can see our trades with the Fusion subscription plus other lessons. You can get the first two months for only $10 per month. We're going to send you some of our Mastery Series videos and free webinar compilations. You'll also get a quick start guide to help you get started right away. You'll receive one month of power options to help you track, manage, and evaluate rollout opportunities on your positions. It's an all-electronic copy now, so you'll get instant access online to the blueprint, which means no shipping, no waiting for shipping, and no shipping costs. 
Of course, you always receive email and phone support for free, and you also get instant access to members-only content. Plus, the Blueprint does come with a money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied with the material, you don't think it's going to help your trading going into 2020 and beyond with the proper structure and 12 proper nested trades, then you can just let us know. We'll refund your purchase price, no questions asked. But you want to pick up your Blueprint before this offer ends on December 31st. Go to RadioactiveTrading.com slash EOY for end of year. And you'll be able to click right there to get your blueprint and to start trading properly to beat the market long term. If you haven't been doing that with the option strategies you're using now and you were promised could make you 3 to 6% per month or maybe 20 to 50% every 30 to 40 days, look like for 50 to 60% of us, that didn't work out as we expected. This is the proper structure to see those profits increase going forward and to potentially beat the market. Why do you need these bonuses? Well, it also helps you to have the right tools in addition to having the right tool. Just like I want those 12 different adjustments for different market conditions, we want to give you instant access right away. The first Mastery Series video we're going to send you, the Foundations of Radioactive Trading, you can watch while you wait. You can get the introduction to that in a video format before you start reading the online content. That other collection of videos, the FIST videos, more information, case studies, and examples of income methods right away. That quick action guide is going to help you get started right now. When you're ready, you can start that two months of Fusion for only $10 at any time. You'll receive lessons to enhance the material, an RPM report to see the trades that match our criteria and what we would be entering today. You can follow along our radioactive trades, such as Yandex and Fabernet, which we posted for our Fusion subscribers plus other tools for stock repair and stock insurance, all when you are ready. The power options, well, you saw some of that today. Be able to evaluate the income methods or adjustments, see what my new risk reward is graphically, so I can decide, does it match my SEGA model for the overall position, my expectations, and my goals? Instant access with the all-electronic copy for the full blueprint, plus it's a no-risk trade to begin with. A money-back guarantee, absolutely no risk to you. You want to make sure you get your copy before December 31st when this end-of-year promotion ends. Go to RadioactiveTrading.com slash EOY or go to RadioactiveTrading.com and just click the Products tab at the top of the page. Of course, if you have questions, you can call me anytime at 302-992-7971 or just send us an email to support at RadioactiveTrading.com. Of course... Being Friday, December 27th, you can also join me today at 4.30 p.m. for our final open discussion, power options, radioactive trading Q&A session, the last of 2019. But more importantly, go to RadioactiveTrading.com slash EOI. Go to RadioactiveTrading.com and click the Products tab. Get your blueprint before the offer runs out in four days and start trading with the proper structure to beat the market to follow the three core principles and have advantage of those 12 proper adjustments that you can use in various market conditions to further lower that risk, generate income, lower the cost basis, and potentially bulletproof your trade as we could do right now with the Yandex position after only 10 days.